Hi, I'm Stuart Matthews from the Proper DIY YouTube channel and in this video I'm going to show you how to use cement board or backer board as it's commonly called to give you that all important protection against water and to prepare a wooden floor ready for tiling. Now cement board is exactly what it says. It's made out of cement and it's not porous in any way so it's never going to suck up any water or warp or deform at all. So it's a perfect substrate to put on your floor to not only protect your floor but to also give it strength and make sure that nothing moves because if it does in the future you can find that floor tiles will start cracking as well. It comes in 6mm and 12mm thicknesses, that's half inch and quarter inch and the 6mm is really really good for putting on the floor as a thin layer just to give it strength and the half inch, a 12mm is really good at replicating plasterboard for around like a shower or a bath as well. As well as the cement board, to do this job we need some mortar. Here I'm using the Regenerate standard S1 mortar, a bucket, paddle mixer and drill to mix it with, screws to fix the boards down, mesh tape to cover the joints and a utility knife to cut the boards with. And last but not least, PPE, so some gloves for manual handling and a dust mask so I don't breathe in any cement dust or any of the adhesive dust when I start mixing that. Before laying anything, I'm going to start by sweeping and cleaning the floor the best I can, just to make sure that there's no dust or debris on the surface. And if you find any loose boards at this point, it's best to screw them down into the joist below, just to stop anything moving around. These boards are 800mm by 1200mm and need to be laid in a brick type pattern making sure that the edges don't line up with your floorboards or chipboard flooring. Here I'm laying them out as a dry fit just to see where the board edges end up compared to the joints in my flooring before I even think of fixing them permanently. Obviously it's not long before you need to do a cut. I'm trying to do a brick staggered type pattern here. So I really need half a board to go in here. So I'll show you how easy these are to cut. I mark where I want to cut and using a straight edge and a utility knife score along the line. After a couple of passes, the knife just follows the score line. And with a timber packer under the board next to the line, a medium push will break the board along the score line. These type of cement boards should never be cut using a mechanical saw, like a circular saw for instance, as it creates a huge amount of cement dust. So keep away from anything mechanical and protect the cleanliness of your home and your lungs. I've numbered the boards I've just dry fitted, as well as marking some witness marks on them just to make sure I get them round the right way when they go back. I'm using flexible adhesive here to help bond the boards to the floor as it's going to give a little bit of flex to the board and will fill in all the gaps between the flooring and the boards. This is mixed in the same way as when used for tiling and I'm looking for a nice workable mix here to help the boards bed in. I mark the size of the board roughly on the floor so I can cover enough area just for one board. I find it easier this way and cleaner just to concentrate on one board at a time. So I'm just using a 6mm notch trowel here but the opposite side is flat so you can smooth it around without the notches and then notch once it's all completely covered which I think it just about is. Now with any notching of adhesive whether it's tiles or using backer board like this the notch section the trowel marks 
should always be in the same direction. So it doesn't matter which direction, but once you start, you've just got to continue. For the final pass on the notch trowel, I'm aiming to keep it at around about 45 degree angle. That way, my adhesive bed on every trowel line should be near enough regular and consistent throughout. So that's the first board embedded in the adhesive. I still need to screw it down. But one thing I haven't mentioned is that it's important to leave a gap around the perimeter between the boards and the wall and between each board of around, they suggest, three millimeters. Now to do that, you can go and buy some three millimeter spacers. But a little trick that I've used in the past is that the screws that I'm gonna to use to screw the board down to the floorboards are about three millimeters wide. So rather than buying some spacers, I'm gonna use these. So that's the first couple of boards down. So now it's time to screw them down permanently. Screwing the boards down to the floor is straightforward. Just make sure the heads of the screws are level with the top of the board and keep them at least 15 millimeters away from the edges and 15 millimeters away from the corners. The grid imprint on these boards really helps to set the screws out easily and make sure that you don't get closer to the edges than you need to. And the standard these days is 12 screws per board. That's four in one direction and three in the other. But if you want to put some extra in, if you really want to, then that's up to you. The other way of removing a thin section of board, like I'm doing here, is to score it as before and then tap along the line with a hammer using a timber packer underneath. And the waste piece will eventually break and it can be removed. Also, small areas can be cut out of this type of board, just simply with pliers, if you need to cut around an architrave, for instance. With all the boards in place, the three millimeter gap can now be filled with adhesive and then mesh tape embedded into the strip just to strengthen the joint. Here I'm aiming at a final feathered joint between each board of around 150 millimetres or 6 inches. There you go, that's the job done. And I must say, using cement board gives you a nice, solid, waterproof base ready for your floor tiles and a project completely doable by your average DIY. I hope this has helped and I will see you in the next video.